Brothers and sisters, they are trying to sell land in heaven for $100 per square meter in Mexico. Yeah, I know. It's exactly what I said the first time I read this. Is it a joke? Is it a joke? Well, let's read up more on it because I thought it was a joke. Um, I guess it was posted on Facebook. And, uh, you know, after it was posted on Facebook, more people talked about it and realized that there's more churches that, that, that's, that, has, that have actually done this. Right? According to the past of Intoms, who claims to have received permission from God, the church is offering... Okay, that's supposed to say end times. According to the pastor of end times, church. Who claims to have received permission from God, the church is offering heavenly real estate for the simple price of 100 per square meter. I mean, $100 to secure your eternity. My goodness. Pictures of the offer have been circulating on social media showing her Brochure with an elaborate depiction of a holy house in the clouds. Oh, my goodness. The illustration features a family ascending a golden staircase to the, their new celestial home. The brochure also clarifies that the church accepts various payment options, including PayPal, Google Pay, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express, as well as available payment plans. Wow, this is intense. One real estate influencer on TikTok asserted that millions of dollars worth of these heavenly plots have already been sold in what is being called the biggest real estate deal on the planet. Millions of dollars. Listen to me. If you are somebody that thinks you can buy your way into heaven, I honestly feel sorry for you. I honestly feel sorry for you. But let's let's check out the video that they're talking about. The Christian church in Mexico is selling plots of land in heaven, starting at $100 per square meter. You can even pay with American Express, Apple Pay, or set up a payment plan. The pastor of the Church of End Time says he spoke to God in 2017, and he authorized the sale of his plots. And buying any plot, regardless of the size, secures your spot in heaven. So far, they've already collected millions of dollars from selling the supply supposed land. Could this be one of the largest real estate scams in history? This Christian church largest real estate scam in history. I just I find it hard to believe but the time we're living in, I mean definitely could be true. Unfortunately, this is not the first instance read this Unfortunately, this is not the first instance of someone attempting to sell real estate in heaven. In 2018, a Zimbabwean pastor was arrested for selling tickets to heaven mm -mm -mm. to his congregation for $533 per person. Well, you yeah, got you by $400, $433. Similar, similarly, Last year, an Ugandan pastor persuaded many of his followers to liquidate their assets, including land and livestock, to fund their eternal purchases. Maybe one day these scammers will realize access to heaven is quite famously free to everyone. This is, this is what I'll say to that. You, must, you have to step into salvation first. All right? Let's, let's not make it just seem like it's just... Just la la la, easy. This walk is not easy. I, I can't stand when people do that. It's easy, so easy. A a a a lizard could, a caveman can do it. So easy, a caveman can do it. Guys, it's a war. It's a spiritual war. Once you step into salvation, once you step into that walk, following Christ, it's a spiritual war out here. I don't know who told you that. These people, these people would be fishing out lies like cake pops. I mean, if you really walk in that walk, as much as you talk in that talk, you know that it's a spiritual war out here. It's not a joke. It's not a game. When you are somebody who is truly following Christ and you are truly being illuminated, the enemy wants you bad. I mean, 
Bad, bad, bad. How bad? Imagine when you're on a seven-day fast, or let's let, scratch that. The first couple of days in your fast. Let's say two days you're on a water fast, right? You're scrolling. You, you, you see a food page, and you click on the food page, and you're looking at everything that they're making. And you're like, oh, my goodness. When I get off of this fast, I'm going to be the best chef there ever was. <laughs> Ah, I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one. You look at all these food pages. You're like, oh my goodness, yo, I'm about to. You start putting different recipes in your notes. You're thinking about it like, man, I'm going to make this. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make that. I'm going to make this. It's going to be incredible. Get up your, get up, you get up your fast and eat something and then forget about the whole list that you made. <laughs> But that's how the enemy wants your soul. When you are truly walking with the Lord and you are truly being illuminated, the enemy's looking at you different than he's looking at the world. Know this. Know this. Looking at you different than he's looking at the world. You are. You are. Dessert. A brownie with ice cream on it. A warm brownie with. A warm chocolate brownie with vanilla ice cream dripping on the brownie because the brownie is so warm that the vanilla ice cream is dripping on it. And, uh, look, listen, hallelujah. I'm, I'm naming my favorites. I'm naming my favorite desserts, okay? You're that. That's how the enemy's looking at you. Unlike, you know, just a, a, a cracker. In the world. These, these people are already walking in deception. These people are already walking in darkness. You have, stepping, have stepped out of darkness. And now you're walking with the Lord. Of course the enemy. Of course the kingdom of darkness wants you. So your fight is different. Because you know you're fighting. The world doesn't know they're fighting. The world doesn't know that they are in a, a spiritual war. The, the world is so consumed with the physical flesh and the matrix that they're in. They don't even realize what's going on. Walking robots, walking zombies. They don't realize the spiritual war that they're in. But you do. They don't realize the... They don't realize the severity of heaven and hell. But you do. They don't realize the importance of salvation, but you do. A lot of them don't even realize that they're in sin when they're living in it. But you do. So when you step into a place where you are acting out of the nature of God, you know it. Listen, when you are a true Christian and if you sin... You know you sin. You know you do. You know that you're turning from God in that moment when you choose to sin. Y'all don't want to talk about this. Y'all don't want to talk about this. <laughs> when Peter denied Christ... Right? Denied Christ three times. The test was whether he was going to get back up or not. The test was whether he was going to continue following the Lord or not. After that shame, after that guilt, after denying the Lord, one of the worst things you could possibly do, the test was whether he was going to get back up or not. So whether or not you are following the Lord and you have turned your back away from him, and you have purposely stepped into sin. What are you going to do? What are you going to do now? Are you going to live in that guilt? Are you going to live in that shame? Or are you going to pick yourself back up and say, Lord, strengthen me? Why did I fall? Why did I allow that to happen? Why did I allow that to get into my mind? Why did I allow that seed to get into my mind and for it to be birthed? Lord, I don't, want to, I don't want to do that again. Forgive me, Father, 
for stepping into that outside of your nature. Forgive me, Lord. Listen, we, we, we are human beings. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I, I, I've been in situations where I fell myself. So I can talk about this thing. I can talk about this with you. Our testimonies, hallelujah, it will be another, another faction of, being, of us being freed, of us being able to talk to each other like this. I understand the flesh. I understand the fleshly desires that, that come with the body. I, I come out of a life of partying, out of a life of women, out of a life of drugs. You think the enemy's not trying to mess with my mind? You think the enemy's not trying to pervert different thoughts in my mind? Lord knows. It's the fight. It's the fight. It's not easy. It's not an easy walk. But are you actually fighting? Are you really fighting? Or are you just living in sin and acting like you're fighting? Telling yourself that you're fighting. There's different ways to overcome the battle. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Because when you step out of the nature of God and you realize you've done it, you step into a, a, a shameful place, you have to ask the Lord, why did I fall? But when the Lord reveals it to you, will you give it up? That's the question. That's the sacrifice. Will you give it up? Hallelujah. I don't even know how I got to this right now. Clearly, the Lord is leading me into a place where somebody needs to hear this. Some of you guys may have fallen. Some of you guys may have gotten into a place where you feel like you've turned your back on God. But here's the thing. The fact that you know that and you feel a way about that. The test is, will you get back right with God? Or will you stay on the ground where the enemy wants you? That's the test. Will you get back up or will you stay on the ground? Will you stay in guilt? Will you stay in shame? Or will you dust yourself off, stand up, and start marching with Christ again? And realize the areas you are weak in and ask the Lord to strengthen you in them. And become the biggest threat to the kingdom of darkness that there is. May the Lord be with you. Hallelujah. Dust yourself off, my brothers and sisters. The fight's not over. Just begun. Hallelujah. I want to show you guys one more thing on this whole thing. Look at this nonsense here. Boy, oh boy. The Mexican church is offering land in heaven starting at... RS, 8,000 per square, greatest real estate scam. The Church of Mexico is making headliners for their unusual offer selling plots of land, the Iglesia del Final de los Tiempos, known as the Church of the End of Times, claims this pastor received divine approval during a personal meeting with God in 2017. A personal meeting with God. And God said, yo, you know what? Go ahead and, you know, I, I got some spots up here. You know, uh, they, they, they running for a hundred. They running for a C note, flat. You know what I mean? Get your bread up. Get your weight, get your bread up. Get your weight up. The pastors of even promises prime locations near God's palace. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So the richer you are, the closer you can get to God. How foolish. How foolish and how evil. How foolish and how evil. My Lord. Photos of the holy home in the clouds have been spreading online. Interesting. The church is also accepting various modes of payment, including blah, blah. Video making rounds on the internet shows a luxurious mansion surrounding, surrounded by gold rays with a happy family of four. It even mentions that the church has made millions of dollars since 2017 from selling these lands. In heaven. However, many viewers 
missed the fact that this video is actually a satire. It was originally posted on a Facebook page. I knew this. I knew I was telling myself this couldn't be real. However, that Zimbabwe church was not satire. It was originally posted on a Facebook page known for sharing humorous content. Since then, the video has been shared on various social media platforms and gained and garnered over one lakh views sharing the video. The X page wrote, please, who can loan me 100 buses? I want to secure my heaven loan. So the video is actually satire. However, there are churches who do things like this. That's what we touch on. Because what may be satire was actually true in a different situation. Like the Zimbabwe church. But I want to say this, right? Because I know there's people out there with the same situation or in this situation. Don't fall victim to things that aren't biblical. That's evil to think that God will sell plots of land in heaven. First of all, it's carnal. You can't use physical money to buy spiritual things. It, it, it's not happening. Love of, for the love of money is the root of all evil. Why in the world? Riches in the kingdom is not even physical money. It's revelation. It's wisdom. Gold is wisdom in the kingdom of God. So depending on how much revelation you have, you can be rich in the kingdom. Hallelujah. But physical... No, step out of it. Step out of it. But clearly this video wasn't even about that. This video was about... People who need to get back up. I, I, I believe the Lord just has me. Sometimes things are on my desk. And I'll start talking about them. And the Lord does what he wants to do. After we get that topic out the way. And that's exactly what happened with this episode. So I, I, I pray that this blessed whoever it needed to bless. I pray that the message reached you, my brother or my sister. And you step out of that place of darkness. Out of that place of shame where the enemy has you right now. Get up. Hallelujah. Dust yourself off. Hallelujah. And start that march again. Start that race again. The Lord is putting his hand out. Glory be to the Lord, Yeshua HaMashiach. He's putting his hand out. Grab onto it. Get lifted up. Hallelujah. I love you guys. God bless. Shalom.